Hey guys, so um, yeah, there was no way that we were getting out of Unit 2 without finding out how Grand's story ends. The wonderful thing about this reader is that each chapter or story title told us a little bit more about Grand. And the last one, which we haven't gotten to yet, says Grand's trip home. And I don't know about you, but hearing all her adventures, I just have to know how it ends. So, come on! All right, guys, so yes, let's find out about Grand's trip home, starting at the table of contents so we know what page to turn to. Page number 100, all right? So that's going to be near the end of the book, so let's flip way ahead and boop! All right, we are here. All right, Grand's trip home. Grand hugs Josh and Jen. Tex will take you kids back in his truck, she says. Will you take a bus? Jen asks. Nope, says Gran. Gran waves a map. This will get me home, she says. See here, she says. We are here. I will ride my bike to Three Mile Gulch, which is here on my map. It will take me a week to get there. A week, says Josh. Gran nods. I will use my rope to cross the gulch, Gran says. Then I will hike up to Pine Hill. It's just nine miles. Nine miles, says Josh. See, look at Gran's map. Kind of like the ones we've been using. Then I will be close to home, says Gran. It is just ten miles from Pine Hill to my home. Ten miles, says Jen. You kids have got one heck of a Gran says Tex. As Gran sets off, the kids wave. Gran waves back. See you in six weeks, she yells. Hoo-wee. The end. I don't know about you, but 10 miles on the bike. Let's see. Nine miles with a rope. Mm-mm-mm. That is a long way to go without any tr any wheels. Wow, they're gr I agree with Tex. They've got one heck of a grand. All right, guys, so now I've been partner A, and I've read the story the first time. You could go back to the beginning of the story and read it the second time. Or if I need to be partner B, go ahead and whoop, rewind and start it over so you can hear the story at least two times before we answer some questions about Grand's trip home. Well, I enjoyed that, and can I say, wow, wow, right? <laughs> All right, so we are going to together answer the questions on page number PP40. We're going to model this good, complete sentence answers I keep asking you for, and we're going to do this together. Yes, together, and your job when we're done is going to be to send me a picture of PP40. I want to see your done work. So the first question reads, who will take Josh and Jen back? Who will take Josh and Jen back? Um, I guess I forgot just that quickly. I know, right? But here's the wonderful thing. These are questions about a story, right? That means the answers are all in the story. So let's open our book and find Grand's trip home once more. I don't know why I closed it in the first place. That was bad business. And let's find out who will take Josh and Jim back. Let's see. Ah, there it is. The very second sentence. Tex will take you kids back in his truck. <gasps> so who's gonna take Josh and Jim back? Tex will, good job. All right, so Tex will. That technically answers our question, but is that our good complete sentence first grade answer? It is not. We're going to write that text. So we're going to use some color coding for this. Where red is must do. That's what you must do. That's the minimum of information you can provide and have answered the question. Then we'll have green as our may do. Your may do gets you in that realm of complete sentence. And for some of them, there's even a can do 
And that is that extension, that extension. So text will take Josh and we'll return sweet roll have them on my paper and Jen back. So technically I could stop there and it would be a fleet sentence. Text will take Josh and Jen back. I got can do here. In his truck. All right. Now, do I expect that you have a red, green, and a blue? No. You're all pencil. But since we're working together, what I do expect to see is all the words in pencil. You can do the can do because we can do it together. So must do text will. That answers the question technically. It is not a complete sentence though. Text will take Josh and Jen back. We could stop there. That is a complete sentence. Text will take Josh and Jen back in his truck. Gives us, answers the question, completes the sentence, and provides us with information about how they're gonna get back. All right, so let's keep looking. Question number two. What will Graham use to get to Three Mile Gulch? What will Graham use to get to Three Mile Gulch? <sighs> Where do I find the answer? Seems so close. Where? Oh! My book, which is open to the story that I'm reading. Okay, let's find out. Mm. It's on page 102. All right, so now we know that our must do portion. This is, like I said, this is how much you have to have when you're working by yourself to have the right answer, okay? Gran, I'm trying to stay out of your way as much as I can, will ride. bike. Grand will ride her bike is your must do. That's what gives us the information to answer the question. However, that doesn't really complete the job. Grand will ride her bike though at least is a complete sentence answer. Okay? Grand will ride her bike. We know who and we know what they're doing. Who, what, who, what. That's how you answer. Grand will ride her bike. Now, if we're going to extend this to make a better answer, Grant will ride her bike to get to three. So now, and where did I get the spelling for these words from? Well, they're in the story, and they're right here in the question. Two, three, mile, gulch. Gran will ride her bike to get to three, mile, gulch. All right, let's keep going. What will Gran use to cross three, mile, gulch? What will Gran use to cross three, mile, gulch? Hmm. Hmm. What did the story say? Well, if you're not sure, where do you find the answer to a question about a story? In the story. It's always in the story. You find it? I know I'm waiting for you. Oh, I heard it. Okay. So this time I'm going to, I don't want to write Grand again because we already know what we're talking about Grand. I'm going to write she because she is Grand. 
she will, what will she do? What will she do? Okay, she will, uh-huh, there you go. She will use her rope. She will use her rope. Yep, I'm putting the extension. To use. So what we're doing is we're using the question and the answer. She will use her rope to cross three miles. Gulch. There we go. She will use her rope to cross three mile gulch. Technically, you could leave, you could stop at she will use her rope. But if this question was not there, just she will use her rope while it's a complete sentence, it doesn't give us enough information. If I take the question away, I just know she'll use her rope. She'll use her rope to do what? To cross three mile gulch. All right, let's keep going. Question number four. Will Gran ride a bike from Grand Cliffs to Pine Hill? All right, so the answer to that question is no, just no. So technically that answers the question, but we can do better than that. No. Grand will not. No, Grand will not. You're right, guys. We can do a little bit more. No, Grand will not. She will hike from Grand. Okay, wow. No, Grand will not. She. So it's all about Gran. Will hike from Gran Cliffs. Hill. All right, and that's the best version of our answer to this question. No, Grand will not. She will hike from Grand Cliffs to Pine Hill. Putting all those pieces together truly answers this question. Now, I said, I said, when you're by yourself working all on your lonesome, if you only get the red, that is passable. If you're working with a partner, or if you can do the red with ease, you should definitely have the green, which is the major. And since we can do this bar together, you can write the full, complete, complete hashtag goals answer to each question. All right, the last one. When will Gran see Josh and Jen? Right. Now, this one is interesting. Watch how I do this, okay? Watch how I do this, okay? So, because of the way this question is asked, I don't start answering it with the must do. I start answering it with the may do. So, Gran will see Josh and Jen at 
Notice we're on our must-do part now. This answers the question. In six weeks. In six weeks. Okay. So, Gran will see Josh and Jen in six weeks. Phew! We did an excellent job. So I'm going to slide out the frame so you can get a good shot if you need to pause so that you can finish writing your answers if I was going a little too fast for you, okay? All right, go ahead and get your pause shot. All right, wonderful work, guys. Excellent job. So we're going to go ahead and the question is, what do we do with this? Well, if you didn't know, I said it at the beginning, but what I need to see from you as we round out and finish, unit two is, pics please, send me a picture of the work we just did together. That is your task today. Send me a picture of the work we just did together. Ouch. <laughs> and if you finish your test early this week, then you're done with unit two of skill.